I'm going to show you how to add a new domain to your DreamHost control panel. First of all, it's important to understand that you can register a new domain with DreamHost and you can host that same domain with DreamHost. What you can also do is register a domain with a different registrar and then host that domain with DreamHost. The other thing you can do is you can register a domain with DreamHost and then actually host that domain with a different hosting company. It might sound a little bit confusing, but it's actually really straightforward. As we work through this, you'll quickly understand what I'm talking about. And to be fully transparent, I am an affiliate for DreamHost, so I do recommend them to clients and friends. You'll find my link in the description below. If you sign up using my link, I own a small commission at no additional expense to you, and I'm really grateful if you buy through my link. So when it comes to registering a new domain and hosting it, I wanna run through the three different scenarios that I mentioned earlier in this video. So first we want to register a domain with DreamHost and host this domain with DreamHost. So what we want to do, assuming you already have a DreamHost account, if not, you need to create that. But what you want to do is under domains, you want to click through to registrations. On the registrations page, you want to enter your new domain that you want to register. So let's just make up a domain as an example. I'm not going to register it, but I'll show you the different steps that you need to follow. So let's register my new website, 4488 00.com. I'm just adding a random number to make sure it's available. So there we go. That domain's available. So assuming you're happy with this domain, you can decide if you want to register it for one, two or three years. I'm going to just click on one over here and then I'm going to say add for 1195 and it's added it to my cart and then you proceed to the checkout. And I'm not going to finish this up because I don't want to register this domain, but that's the process that you would follow to register a new domain. And I do believe the next screen you will decide if you want to use your own personal details to link to the domain or if you want to use the free WHOIS privacy that DreamHost offers with all their domain registrations. It's one of the reasons why I really love DreamHost because they offer that free privacy. A lot of other registrars, they charge an additional fee for that privacy, but DreamHost offers it as a free add-on. After registering your domain successfully, you'll get the confirmation emails. It'll also show up as part of the list on your registrations page. So on this page, if you scroll further down, the domain should show up as part of this list of all the domains that you've registered under your account. While you're on this registration page, you might as well check the domain and make any changes to the settings. You could add the hosting straight from this page, but the way I do it is I click through to the Manage Domains page. So under the left, under Domains, click on Manage Domains. And on this page, you would click on Add Hosting to a Domain. And this is where you want to fill in your domain name. We pretended to register my new website, 448800.com. This next setting is quite important because your website with the www or without the www is actually seen as two separate web properties. So if you set that up in Google Analytics, for example, Google will see two versions of your website. Generally, what I do is I tend to remove the www and I just stick with the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the domain name. But you could also opt for the www and add it. I would recommend either choosing the second or the third option. The one I usually go with is the third one. Then further down, I generally add a new user for a new domain. So I leave that as is. This is a name that has been generated. I generally leave this as is. You don't need to change anything here. If you scroll further down, you have an option to change other settings. I generally leave everything as is. If you're going to be using Cloudflare services or Google services with this domain, then you can tick these boxes. Otherwise, I generally just leave everything as is and then I click on fully host this domain. Next, you'll get this confirmation page and this shows us that we've successfully set up this domain on your account and on the server. On this page, you'll also find your SFTP details, your username, and then also your password. If you wanna to connect to your website on the server using an FTP client, then it's important for you to save these details. But be sure that this has also been emailed to you in a confirmation email. So I've just set up this hosting as an example. I'm not actually gonna register the domain and I'm not gonna use the hosting. So now I'm actually gonna go and delete this domain from my list. So there we go, there's the hosting that I've just set up and I'm gonna go and delete it. So this page is just telling me that if I confirm then everything's gonna be destroyed, that's linked to this domain. So I haven't really set anything else up, so that's all fine and I'm gonna remove this domain from my managed domains. So that was a quick example of how to register a new domain name and also how to add the hosting on your DreamHost panel. 
The next option I want to look at is registering a domain name with another registrar and then hosting that domain with DreamHost. Assuming you've registered your domain name with another registrar, the one thing you need to do is point that domain name to DreamHost. And the way you do that is by pointing it to the DreamHost name servers. And I've actually pulled them up here already. The DreamHost name servers are shown on this page. You want to make sure to enter these details into the provided field in the control panel of the registrar that you've used to register your domains. And that just means that that domain will then point to the DreamHost servers. Once you've updated the name servers on your other registrar where you've registered the domain, then you would just follow the steps of adding hosting for this domain on your DreamHost control panel. And this is exactly what I just showed you. So you'd click the button, add hosting to a domain, select your settings, and then you click fully host this domain and that'll add it to your managed domains. So that is the second option. Then the third option is register a domain name with DreamHost and host it with another web host. This is the third option and it is actually quite similar. We've already gone through the process of registering a new domain. You would click through to registrations, find the domain name that you want to register, make sure it's available, register it, pay for the amount. Once you've registered your domain with DreamHost, you also want to add hosting, but you don't want to fully host this domain on DreamHost. What you want to do is you want to add it to your managed domains list. So we're going to click the button, add hosting to a domain. And here, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see DNS only. Use DreamHost DNS servers, but host the site elsewhere. So this is where you will type in the domain that you want to host, newdomain.com, and you would click host DNS only. And this will add the domain to your control panel, but it won't set up the hosting environment on the DreamHost servers. What it will let you do is it'll give you access to the DNS settings, and there you can enter the details that you will get from your other hosting provider. It's a very straightforward process. Let me just go and have a look if I can show you an example. So here's my personal website, seanp2me.com, and you can see that it's got DNS only hosting because this website I'm actually not hosting on DreamHost. Just to show you this example, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click through to the DNS settings. So I'll click DNS here. So on this page now, I can change the name servers that I'm using for this domain. The other thing I can do here is I can add a custom DNS record. And this is usually what you would need to do in order to point this domain to the server of the other web hosting company. The best is to obviously deal with your hosting company directly and get the instructions from them. Even though it sounds complicated, in actual fact, it's quite straightforward. So there we go, we've run through the three different options of registering a domain and then hosting the domain. If you aren't already an existing DreamHost customer and you're interested to create a new account, I would appreciate if you sign up using my affiliate link. I'll leave it in the description below and I would really appreciate your support. And hey, if you have any questions,